In this episode, I'm going to cover some of the basic Flutter commands. I'm going to show what it's like to use the Flutter Upgrade, Flutter Doctor, Flutter Create, Flutter Run, and Flutter Install. So to get started, I'm going to go to the terminal on my Mac. Both the Mac terminal and Windows command prompt behave similarly. So to get started, I'm going to first run Flutter Upgrade. This will upgrade the Flutter framework on my local computer to the latest and greatest. It also runs Flutter Doctor at the end of its execution process. So the next step is, what if I wanted to run Flutter Doctor by itself? Flutter Doctor reports back on the analysis it made in several sections, and I won't cover those in super detail, but it will run the same steps it does right in this section. So if I run Flutter, doctor it will run those same steps over so i've already changed into my workspace directory i want to create my application next so i'm going to go flutter create and then i'm going to say my flutter application and this will generate an application in my flutter application directory so now that it's generated my application, I'm going to change into that directory and then run the debugging process. So I'm going to go CD my Flutter application, and then I'm going to start the debugging process by launching it with Flutter Run. This is pretty slick. So I don't have an iOS simulator up and running. On Windows, it won't suggest running an Android emulator, and so you'll have to start that first. But on Mac, it will show you how to open up the simulator. So I'm going to open up the iOS simulator. Now that the iOS simulator is up and running, I can run Flutter Run again. In this case, I'm going to hit the up arrow and go back to the history of Flutter Run. Flutter Run will now launch the debugging process and it will load the app in the iOS simulator. There it goes. It launched in the iOS simulator. Well, I could go change the code. And if I do that, I'll have to hit R for hot reload. If I go back to the terminal and focus on it, hit R, it will reload the application. If I hold down Shift R, it will reload the application and it will push it back to the iOS simulator. So now that I'm done debugging my application, I'll hit Control C to end this session. And what I want to show next is Flutter install. Well, what does a Flutter install? I'm going to go to the hardware home button and go back to the home and I'm going to hold down on or tap or long press on my Flutter application and wait for the shake. Once I see the shake, I'm going to delete this. Why am I showing you that? For one is to clean up the iOS simulator apps that are deployed on the device. And two, I want to show the Flutter install process. So I'm going to go back to the hardware home and stop the shake. And now I'm going to deploy my application by saying flutter install. And this will deploy or push the app to my device outside of the debugging process. So now I could use this app without the debugging process running. So I'm going to click or tap on my flutter application. So I'm running my app outside of the debugging process. Pretty cool. So I've covered Flutter Upgrade, Flutter Doctor, Flutter Create, Flutter Run, and Flutter Install. Well, this concludes this episode for today. Thanks for watching and follow me for more tips and tricks, and I'll catch you later.